For Mineral Resources, Minister Mosebenze Zwane has failed to appear before the members of parliament to account for allegations of state capture. Of course, he is expected to be hauled before Parliament's Oversight Committee for a commission of inquiry into that state capture. A no-show by the Mineral Resources Minister, Musebenzi Zwane. It's not the first time that Zwane has snubbed the committee. In November, he called in sick. Last week, he was on study leave. And today, it seems that he misled the committee when he claimed that he will appear before the National Council of Provinces and parliamentarians are not happy. Having considered the latter, I find that there is no plenary scheduled in the National Council of Provinces on 21 February 2018. Musebenzi Zwane is wanted to answer allegations of state capture in his department. He's accused of facilitating the sale of Optimum Mine from Glencore to Gupta-linked company Tegeta Resources. But now the committee has had enough and will establish a commission of inquiry. I do think we should move the process forward. We have been discussing essentially how to deal with the matter, and I would propose that we uh, move towards a situation where we have a fully-fledged inquiry into state capture in the Department of Mineral Resources. In light of the sufficient time that has been given to the minister the committee is left with no other choice but to subpoena him and make sure that he appears in front of this committee. We really had to agree and we have to really to apologize to South Africans. That is not our making uh, to make it a point that we can't proceed. We want to proceed. We want to deliver people's issues at any given time. We are ready. It actually means we'll have to conduct an investigation whether at a balance of probabilities or political influence, has there been an undue influence on how issues are conducted in relation to mineral resources? The committee will meet again next week to finalize the terms of reference and witnesses to be called before the commission. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.